the eyebrows frame the eyes. And everyone out there knows what a good haircut does for your face. Well, this is how we as plastic surgeons view the eyebrows. So the first thing we look at when someone comes in saying, gosh, I feel tired around my eyes, we look at the brows to make sure they're in the right position. On a male, the brows sit lower and flatter on the orbital eye sockets. On a woman, the brows sit higher and are arched out laterally. So those are generalizations that we look at for brow shape and height. Once those are satisfied, then we look at the eyes themselves. But oftentimes we do have to lift the brows into this correct position and that makes an incredible change for the entire upper third of the face and the eyes. How is this done? Modern times, we do this endoscopically in what's known as an endoscopic brow lift. Small incisions just placed just behind the hairline, which are imperceptible once they are healed. We use those to gain access to the tissues of the forehead, which we loosen up from their attachments and bring the brows into a higher position. This procedure takes about an hour in the operating room compared to something that was three hours as little as 10 years ago. The longevities are the same. This is something that lasts decades as far as the change to this area. And it's amazing what it does for the eyes. Oftentimes, if we lift the brows into the right position with an endoscopic brow lift, it negates the need to have a blepharoplasty or an upper eyelid lift because we've brought the tissues up with the brows. So I encourage you to see if this is right for you uh, with a consultation.